This is the pump that I'm using for the nib to put your uh, oils or your peppers and stuff in it to spray the insects off of your uh, plant leaves, vinegar leaves, but you're gonna have to always use vinegar. But this here nib, I fill this up with water and use a tablespoon and a half to this pump bottle here. And this is the neem oil here. And it gets uh, the bugs off the leaves. It's strong like a eucalyptus oil. It's in the eucalyptus family, whatever it is. And it'll kill the cockroaches. Other bugs, larva, spider mites. And I think it was one of these here that eaten up my plant. They're real tiny and white, and they eat fast. So they protect your leaves and stuff, and your plants. But now we can ready to go over here. I'm gonna spray this little old plant leaf because it's fragile. So I'm gonna spray around it. I'm gonna spray the dirt around it, like that. So hold on, hold on, I'm trying to get it together for you. So I sprayed around here with this little spray stuff here. I didn't get the leaves. I didn't want to get the leaves. I just wanted to spray the dirt where the larva and the little mites may be sleeping in the daytime and at night they come out and try to eat up everything. So just kind of spray around these because they little babies. They're babies right now and get all in the dirt and stuff. And it smells kind of like uh, eucalyptus oil, but it's strong, it's strong on that level. Until the plants start maturing more, and then you wanna put them on the leaves. Okay, so let's pray and hope that we have some leaves, because see this little devil, little mice and ate. Look at that. Now they did that last night. See, so they down in there. A lot of times you get different larvas, different bug larvas every year. So that's why sometimes they say it's not good to plant a plant too long in the same spot. It's not good because just get the dirt as much as you can around to keep them little critters from coming around. Just kind of go around the plant with it because they got to crawl out of the dirt to get to the plant. So if they smell that neem oil, they may not be too anxious to go that way. They may try to go some other dirt somewhere else. So we're gonna pray on this. This is my first time using, this is my first time using this oil here. And it kills scale. That's supposed to be scale. I don't know, know what that is. They kill beetles. and mites and other things, other little things that get on the leaves. So it's supposed to be natural and uh, it's a fungicide, insecticide, metacide. So it does a whole bunch of things. And so this is, this was recommended to me by one of the farmers, the pros, and uh, I'm going to try it because uh, if I use the vinegar, I have to constantly use it. Sometimes if you put pepper with the vinegar, it can last about a week or less. So I'm going to try something else because I like to keep it natural on my plants. Thank you. So if you got weekends like mine, 
just uh, do what you can with a shovel, a small shovel or a tiller. I'm just putting the chicken manure around in here. Then I'm going I'm to shovel it around. Yeah, some of these insects will get around here and they'll eat your leaves up. Especially your baby leaves. That's why some people start a garden in a in a green room. Because the green room protects you, your vegetables and your fruit and your brand new babies from all these elements. But once you start doing gardening and stuff, you're dealing with the elements of the land. You're dealing with all kinds of insects that barreled in this dirt even before they even got there. Vinegar to help get them, but I don't see no bugs brewing yet. This must have been a bug from last night, a night crawler or early morning crawler because uh, uh, no bugs. So it had to be a night crawler who attacked my leaf the other day. So we'll deal with that later with the neem oil.